and welcome to C++ Programming. In today's lesson, we're going to talk about input and output to the command prompt screen. So we will output text to the command prompt, but we will also receive input that the user will provide in the command prompt screen. And we will capture that in our program so that we can do maybe a calculation with it. So let's jump into the coding and see how we will do this. In CodeBlox, we will go to New, File New, Empty File. We will save the file as input and output. And we will save this as a .cpp file. So we will start off by including our standard input and output library i have a stream we will create our main function and we will end with return zero we will save this build and run to check that everything works correctly great so we can see that the program successfully compiled and it did run so we know we can continue. We can now do input and output. In the previous lesson, each input we started with, with each input we started with std double point double point c out to output something to the screen. And in the previous lesson's case, we output hello world. But to say std each and every time we want to output and we would do the same if we want to get input we need to say std so how can we make this a little bit easier so what we can do is we can do the following we can say at above the main function and just below the library we can say using name space std and if we save this now we can say c out hello world and let's see if everything compiles correctly so that we can continue to get input so as you can see hello world is now displayed now we don't have to do std the whole time we can just say c out are bigger than are smaller than science and then the text that we want to output so what we can do is we can ask the user for input input number one and then we can get this input and how do we get input from the user so c out is to display and c in is to get input now as you can see the signs just turn around and then we need to go and store this input that we want to receive into a variable so we need to go and create a variable so we will create int num oops int num one and int num two and we will get two inputs from the user we will add them together and display the answer. So we say C in and we get the input from the user. As easy as that. Then we continue and we ask for another input. Input number two. And we say again num two. And we get the input. Now we need to display the output. So we can say again the answer, or we can say, let's, oh, shucks. What we can do is we can say, we can make it a little bit nicer. We can say num1 plus num2 
to is equal to num1 plus num2. And as you can see, we can do everything nice in line. So we don't have to create another variable for answer. And it's actually quite nice. So if we build and run this program, in the command prompt screen, you will ask the user to input number one, let's say five, and another input, input number two, we add three, and now we display five plus three is equal to eight. And there we have it. We've created two variables. We add output to the screen on multiple times. And we also had input from the command prompt screen that the user supplied. So this is our basic program to capture input and also display output to the user. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you soon.